Hey guys, welcome back to the Elemental Workshop. I know it's been a while, but uh, tonight we're going to finish up a couple things. I got this new uh, foundry we're going to finish up a couple things for, and then we're going to turn some scrap metal into uh, Nordic gold. So it's essentially an alloy of copper that's very similar to brass, but it gives you a really good gold color that uh, does look pretty similar to gold. Now this foundry I got is uh, just kind of a, a cheap one I found on Amazon that's lined with kaol. So I've taken it and uh, covered it in rigidizer that I dyed blue just to make sure I could get it everywhere. Um, and it looks like it's got most of the stuff pretty well. Some of these places look a little less, but honestly I think I put maybe too much on it in most places. So these places where it's lighter, where it looks almost white, uh, are still pretty stiff with it and it's essentially just fumed silica mixed with water uh, and that's put on there just to make sure that these uh, this ceramic blanket is made with really small ceramic fibers that when it gets into the air acts a lot like asbestos and obviously that's not good to breathe so this will help essentially just clump onto the fibers and keep them in place that's what's going to protect you from the fibers uh, so I'm gonna put that through a quick fire really quick just to make sure everything's working well and then I'm gonna line it with some uh, bentonite clay and that'll protect the fibers from any of the metal it's not as good as say castable refractory but I'm still waiting on that to come through the mail so for right now I'm just gonna put a quick uh, coating of that bentonite clay on it and hope that works all right, and our first ever light is about to get underway. I'm going to come over here. Kind of try to open it. This valve's a little touchy, so I'm going to bring it on and I'm going to bring it pretty low to start with. so far all right we'll come back when we're ready to put the clay in all right well I took it through a little test fire and it seems to be doing pretty well with just the rigidizer um, and on top of that my phone battery is almost dead so I think I'm gonna do just our uh, first fire with uh, just the rigidizer on this it's not good practice to do uh, in general because the coat uh, or the the kale wool can still be uh, destroyed by things like uh, flux that we put in the metal. Stuff like borax can dissolve it away pretty easily, uh, at which point yeah, it, there would be exposed fibers. As well as there's a couple places where I couldn't get the rigidizer in super well, so... Um, going forward, I'm going to have it surrounded by the castable refractory, uh, but tonight, just to save a little time, we're going to do our fire, really, or our uh, melt, just like this. Uh, and as far as I know, it should still be safe. Uh, through all the research I've done, the rigidizer itself is all you really need to protect yourself. Uh, if someone in the comments, you know, knows differently, let me know. Uh, and I'll update the video description, but uh, so far as I've researched this, this should be fine. Okay, well, through the magic of video editing, here we are earlier in the day. I'm out here at a uh, local scrapyard. I'm going to try to go through some of this stuff and see if we can find 
uh, all the metal we need to do our melt and make some Nordic gold. Okay, well we just got back and this is our haul. Uh, let's take it back and get the melt started. So the formula to make Nordic gold is about 89% copper, 5% aluminum, 5% zinc, and 1% tin. Uh, copper and aluminum are pretty easy to find at scrap yards, and we got a bunch of that. However, zinc and tin are not usually able to, uh, easy to find, at least in pure forms. Um, there might be some alloys. In fact, in the next video, I'll talk about a couple things else that I found there uh, that were pretty interesting. But in pure forms, they're not very uh, easy to find. But if you come over here to where I've got all our metal that we that we got, you can see kind of what my plan is uh, to uh, to deal with that. Um, for the copper and aluminum, pretty simple. Like I said, we got some uh, copper core wire as well as some uh, flat bar stock copper. I'm. It was in with uh, some of this brass over here, so I'm not sure that it's pure copper, but it looks to be uh, the right color. Then we have some aluminum core wire, if I can get it to focus on that. Not very well, apparently. Here we go. Some aluminum core wire that we're gonna be using for our aluminum. And now over here we've got a uh, few things of brass. Now brass is an alloy of copper and zinc. Uh, most common brass is somewhere around 65% copper and 35% uh, zinc. Uh, so that's, we're going to be uh, essentially adding less of the pure copper and a little more of this brass to make up for that. And that'll also be our zinc content. Uh, it should be nice too because adding uh, pure zinc to metals can be kind of hard. Uh, sometimes it'll burn all off before you even get it in there. And then for our tin, we're going to be using this is some scrap lead-free solder I had, which is, if I'm remembering correctly, something around 96 or 97% tin, and then the rest is silver. Uh, if you want to see a good silver recovery from that, Cody's Lab has a video on that that uh, goes over the process really well. But for right now, we really just need the tin. And the silver will be a little extra plus for us, I guess. Um, but yeah, that's, it shouldn't change the makeup of it very much at all. Uh, so let's get over and we'll measure out all our metal. Well, actually, first we got to... Uh, strip all the plastic off of this and then yeah we'll measure it all out and get to melting Knocked my phone over halfway through there, but here's all that wire uh, stripped and cleaned, and uh, I think we're good to. We're gonna. I'm gonna cut it up, and then we'll measure out the amounts we need, and we'll start the melt. So I'm going to start off by melting, we'll start with the highest melting point ones, we'll uh, melt down 
the copper. And then, uh, even though brass is the higher melting point, we're going to melt down the aluminum. Because what we're really worried about in the brass uh, vaporizing off is the, uh, is the zinc. So we'll do the brass third, and then finally uh, we'll do the solder. All right, let's light her up. gloves on. Okay. Let's see, yeah, it's getting, oh, we're getting a little escape flame over there. Okay. All right, let's wait for that to heat up and all that metal to melt, and then we'll add the aluminum. Alright, I got some weights on the top there and that seems to have stopped the leaks. I don't know if you can really see in. Let's see. It's starting to melt a little in there. You can really see the, that uh, purple on the side is the infrared showing up in the camera. Yeah, let's hope that all melts up and uh, we can get the aluminum added in. Alright, well if we can see down in, we got a nice little pool of molten metal, so I'm going to add in the aluminum and then follow that up pretty quick with the, uh, with the brass. So we should be able to just drop this down in, and that's melting, I don't know if you can really see it, but that's melting pretty much straight away. It's so hot in there. shot down in there yeah it's it's pretty much all melted into that already so I'm just gonna go ahead and add the brass in and stir it around to hopefully get that all mixed in there we'll go ahead and add the brass in now Oop. had a bit of a splash there but going to hopefully melt right in with all that molten metal already. I'll find my little uh, rod I was stirring it all with. It's just right over here. Give that a stir. Oh yeah, that's already melted. little bit that was just these three pieces of solder oh man these gloves do not do good for dexterity do they come and drop those in pretty much melted as soon as they touched it and we'll give it all a good stir Now we'll let that uh, sit for a bit so that... Alright, that's been going for a couple of minutes. I also put the mold on top to start heating up. I'm gonna pull the weights off. I can get a good grip on this one. There we go. See if I can get a grip on this somehow. There we go. Oh yeah, she's nice and warm. Okay, I'm gonna shut this off. Take off the lid carefully. Whoo! Can feel the heat from back here. And ooh. Take out the crucible. Ooh, I should have thought a place to set this. Uh, do not break on the cement, please. Let 
Now we're gonna just see if I can't get some of the slag off the top. Okay. Okay, there's all that slag. And now we'll go and try to carefully cool this down a bit more. And try to carefully pour this into that mold. Okay. Okay. Oh, had a little overspill. But other than that, it looks like we measured that perfectly. So I'm gonna bump this to the side a little. And we're gonna let that cool down. Gonna drop this in. Pull it down. All right. Check that out. We've got a. I'm gonna come into the light a little bit more. Got our very own bar of Nordic gold. All right. It's all polished up, and there you have it. One bar of pure Nordic gold. Thanks for watching and have a great day. We'll see you next time.